Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Fits. This is a finger scanner. One of the original ones. First one I seen. When I saw something like this going on, I'm like, no sir, I don't want you to have my information. But they got so regular. Let's face it, every store has them. And this is a teardown. Seriously though, any dollar store I see I go into, they have a finger scanner. It's just kind of interesting. A lot of places you go to, this is the way that you clock in and out, but it's kind of creepy to me. I gotta say, as a guy from the internet, I know creepy, and this is pretty creepy. That's the wrong size. One second. So we gotta lighten a pickup in there. I'm gonna plug it in one more time. Yeah, anyways, when these things started getting real popular, I was not a fan of them. Now during a pandemic, look at all that crud we got all around the edges from people's fingers. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, there's bio stuff all over the place. I love it when they uh, label everything on the circuit board. That makes it real nice. There's some interesting pickups right over there. Anyways, you guys ever see the movie Gattaca? There is no gene for the human spirit. Although I almost wonder if maybe there is. That was a really cool movie. If you guys haven't seen it, spoiler alert. Anyways, in that movie Gattaca, there's two kids that are born to the same parents. One kid was born the traditional way, and the other one was born in a lab using the best of everything possible. They got the best kid. And the, this kid, faster, stronger, more alive, could run further and all that stuff. Anyways. Huh. One sec. Oh yeah, it's plastic spot welded here. By the way, this thing doesn't work, so I'm not going to take it apart real nicely. I just want to see what's on the inside. Oh wow, okay. This is all, this is a unit. And then this is a unit. Okay, that works for me. Anyways, in that movie, this was a, the kid that was born naturally, he wants to go into space, but he can't because his genes aren't good enough. The kid's got some problems. So what he does is he basically bore, uh, borrows... Jeez, that's the whole unit. That's it right there. He borrows the genes, blood, and whatever of this really uh, famous tennis guy that went paraplegic and never told anyone and the guy always had these hang-ups that he was never as good as his brother who was perfectly biologically engineered but as always in these movies good guys win bad guys lose and as always England prevails right I kind of felt that way when they brought these things out it's like really you're gonna take my my information my personal information why would you do that why would you want that of course they just want to make sure that i swipe in and out on time every day and again you see these all over the place now like, i can probably get a cheap dollar store version of this or the kind that would be used at a dollar store i, I should say man that last one's really fighting me like on ebay for nothing i could get a cheap one of these i bet Anyways, I had a problem with it because really, you really need my information. How about, how about you let me have the information of the manager of the place? Give me his fingerprint. Would you be okay with that? Why do you think I'd be okay with you having my fingerprint? She's like, really? Are, are, can you buy me supper first before you get to my DNA and stuff? I'm still not a big fan. I'm still not a big fan of this stuff. But that's just what the world's coming to these days. All of our information is out there. It's all over the place. We're going out there and getting free things, free services like Facebook and stuff like that. And Facebook is a service. Uh, and this, you pay for it by giving me your information. Information's all out there everywhere. So that's where uh, the plug for the power went for the lights on the side and here's the main motherboard
And there's the SD card that I wanted to make sure I got all the information off of. Because there's going to be people's fingerprints on there. And even though it's probably in an unreadable form, I want to make sure that it gets destroyed. Or at least formatted and put into my collection. I mean destroyed. Of course destroyed. Everyone deserves their own personal freedom. Everybody deserves their privacy. But seriously, I still don't like the fact that companies get your fingerprints. Alright, I got that back piece off. That's what I was hoping to see. Stuff like that. Every now and then I'll get a circuit board that has a block like that. And there's nothing on the other side. And it makes me wonder, what the heck was that? Da Vinci. Samsung. So I imagine that Samsung on the top left will be memory. I bet this little one will be ROM. If I'm wrong about any of this stuff, and you guys know, please let me know. Da Vinci will be the main processor, I believe. So this must be the main unit in here. I wonder just because they outline it like that. If you guys know something I don't, please let me know. Because I love learning about this stuff. Let's face it, everybody screws up. But man, I tell you, I've learned a lot of interesting things from the comment sections. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Neptune Nows Tech, that's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other, will you?